sharks are among the most feared, respected, and admired creatures on the planet, but it's amazing how little we know about them. Scientists still don't fully understand the extent of their influence on ocean ecosystems as top predators. This is because their lives and ecological impacts remain concealed by the ocean's surface. But working just outside Cape Town, South Africa, our team has studied great white sharks for over two decades and only now discovered just what can happen to an ocean ecosystem when an apex predator disappears. And it's not what you would expect. Based on results from experiments done under laboratory conditions or those involving land animals, the decline or removal of predators such as spiders, wolves, or lions have caused rippling effects down the food web. The story usually plays out as such. The loss of a predator causes increases in the abundance of their prey, which in turn reduces the abundance of the species they feed on. But the issue with understanding the consequences of predator declines in the ocean lies in the difficulty of observing interactions between predators and prey, the secrets of which are hidden underwater. Because of this, it's extremely difficult to detect changes and without a baseline, it's often impossible to determine if and when ecological changes may have occurred. That's why this research is valuable. Located in False Bay, Seal Island is a hotspot for great white sharks famed for their predatory behavior, where the sharks can be seen exploding out of the water in pursuit of their seal prey. For the past 18 years, our research team has conducted over 8,000 hours of standardized observational surveys in which we recorded over 6,000 great white sharks and documented a monumental 8,000 plus great white attacks on seals. Using these numbers, we monitored annual trends in great white abundance and hunting activity. For one and a half decades, great white shark numbers were relatively stable, but in 2015, sightings began to drop off steeply for unknown reasons. In 2017, the unimaginable happened. Great white sharks completely disappeared, sometimes for weeks and months at a time. While the reason for the decline and disappearance of great whites are unknown, it provided an opportunity to see just what can happen to an ocean ecosystem due to the loss of an apex predator. Here, the disappearance of great whites coincided with the unprecedented emergence of an extraordinary apex predator, the seven-gill shark. A living fossil, seven-gill sharks are related to ancient sharks, unique for having seven gills instead of the typical five. In False Bay, Seven-gill sharks historically aggregated within dense kelp beds located some 18 kilometers away from Seal Island. Seven-gill sightings continued to increase at Seal Island while white shark sightings continued to decrease. During this time, we even witnessed a seven-gill shark attacking a live seal in the absence of great whites. In South African waters, seven-gills have no equal in the food web with the exception of the great white shark. Other than orca whales, Great whites appear to be the only predator of adult seven-gill sharks. We hypothesize that this emergence of seven-gill sharks at Seal Island is due to the loss of white sharks, which would have otherwise predated on them and also competed for prey like the seals. Without great whites, the seven-gills are free of predators and competitors to occupy the waters of Seal Island. This 18-year study provides new insights into the diverse ways ecosystems are altered following the loss of a predatory shark. The decline and disappearance of great whites from their seal hunting grounds led to the unpredictable emergence of an unusual apex predator from a different habitat. This discovery would not have been possible without long-term monitoring.